Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you're all doing well in self-isolation, staying safe and clean and all that lark, and doing well watching reruns of old football matches. Hopefully, that's what I've been doing sometimes. It keeps me alive, interested in the game, and kind of makes me miss football a little bit more. Anyway, thank you for stopping by Football Therapy today, where we're going to be talking about Philippe Coutinho again, because the more stuff that comes out regarding Coutinho, the more I think actually this has got legs and could really happen. As the days go by and I do more sort of reflection, I think, yeah, Jaden Sancho is probably going to go to Manchester United. He'll be a bigger gain for them than he would be for Chelsea, and Chelsea might do better you know, spending money elsewhere on the pitch than wingers, or someone like Philippe Coutinho who can play on the wing if needed be, or also play in central midfield and offer something a little bit special. And remember, boy is he proven in the Premier League, and still in his prime, and could prove to be an absolute bargain. So if you think of it from a business point of view, it kind of makes a lot of sense, and I urge all you Chelsea fans out there to sort of Think about it for a while, think about what the squad is at the moment, and think about what he could offer Frank Lampard's Chelsea Football Club. So I do want to talk about some of the most recent stories coming out around football media behind the scenes while people are in lockdown, and offer you some information and my opinion on the situation and what's going on regarding Chelsea Football Club and Philippe Coutinho. Quick reminder to subscribe though to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so, because the majority of my viewers are not subscribed, which is very peculiar. I've checked on the back end metrics. So you there if you like the channel if you come back and watch the content why not subscribe please and you know support your boy by liking the video because it helps me out all right let's get into it now the story going around football media and indeed sort of being regurgitated by different European journalists is that Chelsea are very interested in Philippe Coutinho. Apparently the player himself is quite interested in going to maybe Arsenal or something like that, but Philippe Coutinho's agent wants him to go to Chelsea. I imagine he probably thinks it's a better move for the player, which as a Chelsea fan who's obviously biased but looking at Arsenal and looking at Chelsea I'd have to tend to agree that going to Chelsea is a better option than Arsenal at the moment for probably a multitude of reasons. Now it's also been reported that head honcho Chelsea director Marina Granovskaya has contacted Barcelona directly letting them know they intend or desire to purchase Coutinho for Chelsea Football Club. So the intent has been expressed and I think Barcelona might be keen to sell it, well they are keen to sell them, but might be keen to sell them to Chelsea Football Club. They've obviously spent loads of money on Griezmann, Dembele, Coutinho over the years like recent years and they're looking to sort of switch things up a little bit. I mean there's a lot going on in Barcelona at the moment, a lot of problems going on at the moment so they'll be looking to make some money essentially. Now Coutinho cost them approximately 140 million from Liverpool. I've done a video on Coutinho fairly recently talking about his amazing numbers in the Premier League at his time at Liverpool. His creativity, his goals, his assists, all from central midfield as well. Very 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 impressive indeed hence the price tag of 140 million. Remember the player wanted to leave Liverpool as well so that should really drive the price down but no it went, I didn't say it went up, it stayed large at 140 million. Chelsea have the opportunity to buy Philippe Coutinho for a rumoured 60 million pounds or there roundabouts for a 27 year old who is still an elite player who's been at Barcelona, Bayern Munich Really, it seems like a no-brainer. Of course, the alternative had been, for a big money signing, Jadon Sancho, who would cost literally double the amount. And of course, he's potentially got, I don't want to say a higher ceiling, but a very, very high ceiling, and he's still very, very young. He has obviously not played in the Premier League before. I'm not doubting Jadon Sancho would be good in the Premier League, but you can understand an element of risk of buying Jadon Sancho for £120 million when you've got Hakim Ziyech who can play on the right wing and probably will want to play on the right wing. You've got Pulisic who can, you've got Hudson Odoi who can, and of course you would imagine Chelsea would bring in another winger who would probably be able to play on that side as well. I think Jadon Sancho is going to go to Manchester United because it probably makes more sense for Manchester United and indeed for the player himself. He'll have the whole team built around him, he'll slot into a massive void which is the right wing position at Manchester United and he's very very good on the counter attack. We've seen him do that for Dortmund like plenty of times over the last couple of years. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will very very much fancy that. 
makes a lot of sense, we'll get paid a lot of money, and they do have a decent project over there at the moment. So, Chelsea look to buy a striker, a left back, maybe Jeremy Boger with his buyback clause, because um, the Sassuolo president did say that it's almost definite that Chelsea and them will be doing some form of negotiation and business in terms of his buyback clause. So they'll be, you know, sorted for wingers, which leaves us with Philippe Coutinho. The best in the world, we all know. We didn't ever want you to go. Philippe Coutinho. The man who stole the show. You're the special one and your dynamo. Whoa, whoa. Philippe Coutinho. Yeah, so Philippe Coutinho. He's split opinion for Chelsea fans at the moment in terms of do you want him, do you not want him? I think everyone can agree on one thing and that's the fact how Philippe Coutinho would be an absolute bargain in terms of the quality you're getting for how much you'd have to pay. Let's say 60, 65 million pounds for a player who's 27 years old and has got so much experience in the Premier League and could offer a lot. Remember, I've said this in videos before, but I'm gonna say it again. Chelsea on the Frank Lampard have looked very, very good at times, but often at their most frustrating, and everyone will say this as well, when they've got the ball and they're playing against low blocks, they sometimes run out of ideas. You need either a bit of a magician to play between the lines or someone who can score a goal, top bins from 30 yards out, probably occupying the hole in the pitch in terms of position. That is Philippe Coutinho's role. That's what he's always done wherever he has gone, but he especially did that a lot in the Premier League. Put him in this Chelsea side, surrounded by a lot of passing, attacking players. And I personally think he could reignite his magic and do bits, maybe for another three, four years in the Premier League at the highest level. So perhaps Chelsea give him a five-year contract, flog him with a year left to like Syria or I don't know, wherever he wants to go, China or something, make a few quid on him after that. And really, I think it could be a really good purchase, personally. It does always circle back to that, do Chelsea need a central midfielder? And I've talked about Billy Gilmore in a video I recently uploaded and basically said, oh, Chelsea have got so many good midfielders and people who can play that role. But if you're gonna, you could play someone like Philippe Coutinho out on the wing and you could play someone in the number 10 or in central midfield and they could rotate quite comfortably. He's exactly the type of player that can go out wide, who can come inside, and Frank Lampard likes tactical flexibility and he likes his players to be versatile. Pretty much another massive positive of Philippe Coutinho. He could have someone like Hakim Ziyech and Philippe Coutinho already. I mean, listen to that, the quality that could be in this Chelsea team next season. They could be swapping positions, say right wing, number 10, or you know, they could be drifting in and out, going wide, going in, because they very much are comfortable at doing both positions. Frank Lampard, the way he likes his Chelsea football team to play football is he does like a lot of expression in the final third, but he needs that quality in the final third. And if you've listened to Frank Lampard over these last, like, I don't know, eight months talking about it. He talks about quality in the final third. He believes in his players, but he wants someone to take responsibility, bang a goal, create something out of nothing, take on a man. And Hakim Ziyech and Philippe Coutinho could be the exact type of players that bring that quality, that change the fortunes of Chelsea Football Club. Don't necessarily think of Coutinho as like another midfielder joining Chelsea. Think of him more as like a quality forward. Do you know what I mean? Who obviously, if Chelsea play Coutinho in a midfield free, like he did a lot for Liverpool, you'd think, right, loads of attacking quality in central midfield. But at the same time, you could play Coutinho in a front free and have him rotating with certain midfielders, whether that be Mason Mount, whether that be Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Obviously, the likes of perhaps Mateo Kovacic, you wouldn't expect to do that. But there are other midfielders that could definitely do the job. And indeed, Hakim Ziyech, if he's playing like in midfield or as a number 10, they could all rotate. Tactical versatility, positional play, switching, and all that good, exciting luck. Although it does scream quality, of course this does split opinion in the Chelsea fans, but as the news rolls on every single day, it seems to be like a story that isn't going away. Apparently Granovskaya has contacted Barcelona, apparently Coutinho's agent wants him to go to Chelsea. Put it all together and I think this story might gain legs. We know he's not going to stay at Barcelona, we know he's not going to stay at Bayern Munich. <laughs> It looks like Chelsea are a really good option, mainly because of Jadon Sancho's probable transfer to Manchester United. So I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on this transfer. 
If you think about it tactically, analyze it, analyze the value it's in the transfer, 60 million pounds potentially for an absolutely elite Premier League proven player in his prime. Think of it that way. Sure, he could be seen as a midfielder, but see him as a player that can move in and out of midfield and attack. How do you feel about it? Get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts and opinions on this transfer story, situation, potential transfer. What do you think? If you've enjoyed the content today, guys, I'd urge you to like the video. That helps me out a lot. I really appreciate that. And remember to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so, because loads of people aren't subscribed who watch the videos. And if you do sub, make sure you hit that bell notifications icon and you can still donate to my NHS fundraiser, which is going to be going for a few more days and have the opportunity to to win a Chelsea shirt so click the link in the top of the description for that uh, that's it from me guys follow me on social media at football Yannick enjoy the football that's not happening and I'll see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'm gonna get it how I'm living I'm gonna walk the walk outline my lines I rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chalk in my life seen trouble hustle on the double silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle yo chick like to guzzle bad boy stay in trouble i only love this paper sorry i don't I let me baby.